start. Hi everyone. This is our very familiar vending machine that we often see at stations, shopping complexes, etc. Now, once in a while, we must have experienced this familiar problem. Our friend doesn't have the exact change to buy himself a cola. So, this is the theme of our project to overcome this money restriction problem in the vending machines. This application follows a particular procedure. When the note is put in the vending machine, the camera takes a snapshot and processes the image. If the amount is sufficient, it releases the product as well as returns the amount. Introducing note recognition and counter circuit using MATLAB image processing. Now, let us understand the components and software used. Arduino Uno USB webcam and IR sensor module are the components and the software used is MATLAB 2014 along with graphical user interface. Let us understand the block diagram for the same. Here we can see that the USB webcam and Arduino Uno has been interfaced with MATLAB whereas the IR sensor module input has been given to the Arduino. Now let us see the assembly itself. We can see here, this is the Arduino that we have used, which is connected to the laptop. This is the USB webcam, who's, who, which is again connected to the laptop. At the bottom, we have used an IR sensor module, which is connected to the Arduino. And this is the LED bulb. Now, let us understand how does the assembly work. When the user puts the money in the assembly, the camera takes a snapshot. Now, every snapshot is being compared with every database image. After recognition, MATLAB executes the program for that particular amount. Using GUI as a displaying, in, uh, displaying platform, it displays the amount entered and the amount to be returned. Now, let us understand the programming logic for the same. Here we can see that every database image are first imported. Then every RGB images of the database are converted to grayscale for precision. Now when the user puts the money in the assembly, the camera takes a snapshot and converts the snapshot into grayscale. Now we calculate the size of the grayscale snapshot that is the number of rows and number of columns. After this, every database image is being compared with every snapshot image and also we calculate the number of pixels having equal value for every comparison. Now this gives the database having highest number of equal pixels and hence the recogni we recognize the note. Now MATLAB executes the program and displays the amount to be returned. Now we understand this with the help of an example. Here we have used a 100 rupee note and we have considered the product value to be rupees 10. Hence the money to be returned will be 90. This is our MATLAB program. Now we run the program. In the command window we can see that Arduino is attempting connection. Arduino has been successfully connected. This is our GUI platform. We have used two buttons. First is the start project. Second is reset. This is the status which shows the status of our project. This shows the money entered and this shows the money to be returned. Now we are going to start the project. This is the camera preview. Here we can see the project has been started and hence completed. This is the final image. The money entered is 100 and the money returned is 90. So this can be performed from various notes ranging from 10 rupees note to 100 rupees note. Thank you.